Video number three, removing dietary stress from your lifestyle, making your eating as carefree as possible. Video number one, we talked about the myth between diet and body fat levels. Diet is not supposed to be a means for weight loss in and of itself, nor is it supposed to be a means for weight management. There's more to the story. Number two, the whole point of a healthy diet is to remove stress from both body, mind, and soul. Diets that cause stress and are really hard to follow are backwards. They're going in the wrong direction. A diet is supposed to remove stress from your life. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can do it and exactly how I do it. So, healthy eating. That's why I don't refer to it as diet, just healthy eating. It's healthy for everything. Number one, all options are on the table. Nothing is off, unless you have a food allergy. If you have peanut allergy or something, by all means, don't eat peanuts. But I include everything mentally as an option. Everything from organic salmon, colored greens, steak, and deep fried Twinkies at the fair. It's all available and I can have any of it. I look at it like tools. You don't wanna tell a mechanic, dude, you can't use metric anymore. Like, well, what if I need it? What if I really wanna use it? What if that's the best tool for the job? Food is exactly like that. You wanna have all tools available. Now, things like that deep fried Twinkie, I might need it or want it like once every couple of years. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it every weekend. But knowing that I have access to it, I don't have to push it away and fight a craving for it. So just like some tools you don't really need very much, when you need it, it's good to have it. So that's the first thing is all options are on the table. Second, always listen to your body. Remember, the whole point of this is to remove stress. And your body is telling you stress, physical, mental, whatever. So if you don't know your stress, you're, you're literally flying blind when it comes to your diet. So listen to your body. If you're hungry, eat. If you're full, stop eating. If you're feeling bored, do something rather than trying to satisfy it with hunger. Know what real hunger is. Know what real thirst is. And the best you can identify what your body's really asking for, the best you can feed it and alleviate that stress. Uh, next, go as natural as possible. Natural foods are gonna be the best for you nutritionally, but they're gonna be the best for you as far as satisfaction. The better um, fruits are gonna be sweeter than any candy. The, the proteins, uh, meats, uh, breads, whatever, gonna be far more savory. The more natural your foods are, the better they're going to satisfy you. They're gonna taste better. And that's why you wanna go as natural as possible with a lot of your foods. Don't get hell bent over like, is it organic or anything. If you're eating McDonald's every day and then you're eating a salad, if it's not organic, so what? It's a step forward. That's all you need to do is progress your diet. It doesn't have to be perfect. Second, variety. The more variety you got, the better. So if you're only eating one type of meat or you're eating one type of, um, uh, of oil or fruit or whatever, it's gonna be boring, it's gonna be bland. We got tons of variety available at just any grocery store. So find ways to incorporate as many things in a dish as possible and you have better taste, better texture, and better nutritional profile in the meal. Next, speaking of which, learn to prepare and cook your own food. There are only three aspects to a healthy diet. What you eat, how much you eat, and when you're eating it. When someone else is preparing your meals for you, you're not in control of all three. Someone else is in control of your diet, which is going to be a stressful situation because you're not in control. But if you learn to prepare and cook your own foods, you have far more control over all three, and you're gonna make food that tastes a lot better and satisfies you better because, I don't know, maybe you like hot and spicy, so you throw hot and spicy in there. It's gonna satisfy you more. Um, if you're not that good at cooking, don't worry. The internet's got tons of stuff. 15-minute uh, meals kind of stuff. Real easy. You don't have to be a five-star chef to eat healthy. Basic ingredients is a good place to start. Chicken, rice, pasta, basic sauces. Get some spices and herbs, meats vegetables, fruits. You don't need to make this stuff complicated. Just go and, um, you know, go to like Costco, Sam's Club and stuff, and just get stuff in bulk and find, like you get some chicken breast and you're like, how many different ways can I prepare chicken? You'll find tons of stuff online. And then finally, I have what I like to call the stoplight diet. Categorize your foods for you personally as to what's most tempting and that you have trouble staying away from. Green light foods are things you wanna eat a lot of and you, and you um, wanna include a lot of your diet, fruits, vegetables, that sort of thing. Keep those in abundance in your food environment, your home and office, ready to go. Yellow light foods are things you want to eat in sparing uh, amounts, chips, cookies, things like that, but you have no trouble doing so. 
those you have in limited quantities in your environment, and you kind of keep them out of sight, out of mind. Keep the chips up in the cupboard way out of, out of sight. Red light foods are ones that you just know you can't really control yourself over very much. Those are foods you don't have in your home. You don't have in your office, under any circumstance. You can still have them, but you gotta go out to get them now. You gotta go through some extra steps to get these foods. So use the stoplight method to kind of control your food environment. That way you don't have to fight cravings um, about like overindulging in chocolate cake every time you walk into the kitchen. But these things will do more for you than anything you're gonna read in any sort of diet book uh, over in the bookstore on what's the latest weight loss trends or anything like that. Questions down below. Hope you enjoyed the series. Be fit. Live free.